Hello, I'm Thierry, and today I'll be going over internal rate of return, or IRR. And today I'm assuming that Tiger Limited is considering investing in Lotus Inc. And we need a certain return before Tiger invests in Lotus Inc. And we are assuming a target IRR of 20%. So that's our target we need a IRR that's actually higher than our target before we invest so the first thing I need to do is calculate EBITDA and EBITDA comes from the income statement and it includes the depreciation and amortization or DNA here and that comes from the cash flow statement so let's get into it so first we're going to add the EBIT plus DNA. We're going to copy this formula over. Okay. And now we need the baseline EBITDA multiple 65 times. And we're going to copy this formula over. And the proceeds. The proceeds only come if we sell the company. So if we don't sell the company, we get zero proceeds. And to represent that, I'm going to put a if formula in. So if the year that we are in equals the exit year, then we want to multiply the EBITDA times the EBITDA multiple. But if not, we're going to assume zero because we didn't sell anything. And I'm just going to go back and format this formula if I can copy it over. I'm going to go up and hit F4 to lock that cell if I can copy my formula over. And as you see, in year 2020, I have 4 million, 4 billion, 225 million. And I'm going to put that in a number format and I'm going to lose the decimal because it's even and the ownership we have 40% so any proceeds we're going to multiply it by the 40% so we're going to take the proceeds here multiply it by 40% going to lock this cell using F4 if I can copy the formula over There we go. And I'm only going to bring the same values down to this line, the equity investor line. This is what Tiger owns. Okay. And now I'm going to calculate the IRR. The whole reason I bought it down because I have an initial investment here in year zero. This would be year one. 2012 would be year one and so forth so to calculate the IRR I hit equals IRR I'm going to include the initial investment and all the periods of proceeds that follow and we have an IRR of 21.18 percent and this remember we had a target of 20 percent so I'm just going to leak this actual IRR to the IRR amount here. Hit enter. And I conditional formatted everything underneath. I had the actual IRR here. Let me show the decimals because it did have decimals. And I conditional formatted the difference. The difference is only the actual IRR minus the targeted. IRR and we have a difference of 1% and it's in green because I've conditional formatted this to turn green if it's over zero but if it's under zero I formatted it to turn red as in stop okay so I'm gonna hit undo here I can put my formula back in and I also filled out a formula an if formula to say should we invest or not 
and the answer is yes. And how I did that was put if cell I5 was more than zero. I put yes in parens if it's over one, but also says no if it's not. So, okay. So let's check out our list here. We calculated EBITDA, calculated IRR, make the investment decision, and you would invest FYI. Okay, and let's just assume that the company trades at a different multiple and within a different year. And let's set up a sensitivity table for that. So here, this will be equal to the IRR. I'm gonna lock that using F4 and hit enter. And now we need to create a table. So I selected the IRR all of the years, the potential exit years and the potential exit multiples in the headings. So now I'm going to hit Alt D T. And for the row input, I need the exit multiple. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to scroll up and hit the exit multiple here. And for the column cell input, those were the years, the exit year. So I'm gonna put the exit year here. I'm gonna hit okay. And it should have generated different scenarios for my RRR. As you see, my RRR is 21.18%, which is, I think I assume 2020 with a discount rate of X. So this is the current calculation here. So let's just see what other options would be just as good or better. So as you can see, the IRR decreases from year to year. See, it goes to 34 to 30 to 27 to 24 to 22 to 21. Okay. And what about going from multiple to a higher multiple? course it increases 22 to 28 34 36 44 45 okay and you can give analysis to managers using this sensitivity table really good because it shows you multiple scenarios that just say if a manager wanted to know how much of a return would we get if we traded at a 55 times multiple only holding for three years the IRR will actually be higher than the scenario here that we calculated the 21.18 percent it'll be actually 23.55 percent at a 55 times multiple and the exit year of 2017 so that's pretty much it and thanks for watching the video and see you next time. Thanks.